Hello all. Um, this video is going to be talking about uh, some things you may want to try uh, to improve the overall performance of Firefox if you use Firefox in uh, Linux. Uh, it doesn't have to be Ubuntu, uh, it could be another distro. Uh, it's generally these uh, ideas work. Um, so I made some notes. Let me get these here. And we're going to need some uh, tools. rsync. So you just type in sudo apt-get. Install rsync. But it should already be, if you're using a Ubuntu, it should be installed. But just check anyway. Leechbit. That's a great program for cleaning up. And UPX. Uh, command line based uh, compression utility. Okay, so. We'll zoom in a bit. Uh, you don't have to do this if you don't feel safe, but apparently if you turn off anti-phishing in Firefox, it, sh it should help its startup times. Uh, so I have the command lines here. I'll put this in a link to a download um, for these notes here. But it's to remove the uh, URL classifier, and then you change directory. One thing you got to be... Uh, pay attention to is you're going to have to make sure you get the profile name correct. Okay? It's going to be different for every user. So if you go to your home folder, press Control H, unhide, and go to Mozilla, Firefox, and now, see, like, since I've done these tweaks, it's now pointing to a different directory, but you won't have that link there. Um, but you see that it's named this and what I did was I just right-clicked and uh, hit compress and then uh, it ended up here uh, so as a backup so make sure you back it up just compress it it's the easiest way so I make sure this profile name is relevant to what you type in or copy and paste into the console terminal Okay, just be aware of that every time. So what this does is uh, it'll change the mode to uh, just uh, read only, so it won't be able to write to it anymore. Again, this is completely optional. All of this is optional, of course, but uh, if you don't feel safe. So I'll launch Firefox. It's still not really fast, but it's faster. So one, two, not bad. Um. And what you do to ensure this is off, go to Preferences, under Security, uncheck these two. Again, completely optional. Block reported web forgeries, block reported attack sites. Okay? And then do the other commands um, I mentioned here. Okay, then... Uh, Download BleachBit, sudo apt-get install BleachBit for Ubuntu, or whatever, you know, distro you're using. It would be different, of course. And you just run that as a regular regular user, so uh, there it is, BleachBit. And all I did is uh, uh, Firefox, it'll check it itself as vacuum here. And explains what vacuum clean database fragmentation to reduce space and improve speed without removing data. So it's basically trimming and sort of defragmenting the database, the databases used in Firefox. You'll get a warning if you've never used this before. Just say uh, delete anyway, I believe. So you can close that. You can run that once in a while too. Okay, so. Um, uh, you can ignore this whole section, except for, I'd, I'd suggest cleaning the databases, and that's not going to uh, compromise anything. The next thing is to compress uh, Firefox. So, it's a sudo, and then a copy, and then uh, in Ubuntu, and I think in our Linux, is in this directory, USR, lib, Firefox, Firefox, and you just make it dot .backup, and then you download a program called um, UPX, and you type this in the command, or copy and paste this in the command, 
So it'll uh, compress that. And again, in sudo apt get install upx, there's a couple of other dependencies, maybe another extra one uh, that goes along with it. And then just type that in. And finally, you can run the your entire profile in RAM, basically. Uh, so you need a script. Um, it's, you can call it anything. I call it uh, Firefox Sync. And then you make it executable, and you get it to load up startup. So it's in the history here. I'll open that up. There it is. So it makes like a device, a virtual device uh, area for Firefox. So it's volatile. So you got to be careful. Um, and again, make sure it's you rename this. Uh, I think the original script is X Y. I mean x5z probably dot default so make sure you rename it from whatever you had in your uh, home your folder and the rest you can uh, is the same um, so what I did is I uh, in the home directory I put it in bin Firefox sync and we'll open that again with text editor and see it's already open there don't don't edit Okay, and minimize this, and uh, right-click, Properties, use this way, Permissions, Execute, allow executing of this program. So I made a bash, uh, bash script, uh, alias script, I'm sorry, uh, to run this, but to do it uh, absolute path, would be uh, open a terminal, change directory to slash bin, no, bin, and you do an ls, and you can see it's executable, and I'm going to close this, okay, and go back here, and you just copy, paste, and then control shift V, or right click and paste, press enter, and you can see um, it deletes all the redundant files and cleans up the cache and stuff and it gives you a readout and the speed up is 1.8 so I guess 1.8 seconds to start I don't know one two I don't know I don't have a stopwatch sorry okay uh, another thing um, is you gotta make sure that this runs at startup because you might forget to uh, run the command. So let's go to your wherever you have your startup applications, you search or whatever in Ubuntu, it's startup applications. And I made it here, so I'll just edit this. You can call anything you want, I just Firefox sync, and you just browse to that folder, bin, Firefox sync, open. I already have that, so I don't need to. And every time you log out and log back in, it will start up on. Uh, it will start up, sorry. And uh, anytime you restart, it should start up. And uh, like I said, you can run it manually, have it loading at startup. And I th think there's a cron job that's automatically created in this, uh, in Ubuntu, I think. If not, uh, you can look that up, but it's a uh, straightforward. Okay, so that's that's it for this one. So I'll I'll put this in the uh, link to uh, to these notes, and then you can look through them and refer to the video. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. And thanks so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.